Although it's been widely acknowledged that 2017's It captures the tone and spirit of Stephen King's novel, adapting the book's 1100 plus pages into a cohesive two hour film required making some changes from the source material. Here are 10 major differences between the book and the film. Major spoilers ahead for both the movie and the novel. The most immediate overhaul in Andy Muschietti's film version is its time period. The Losers Club in the novel first faced their fears between 1957 and 58. It 2017 takes place between 1988 and 89, so the kids end up being a little more world weary and relatable to modern day audiences. This also means that the adult part of the story that we will see in It Chapter 2 will take place not in the 80s, but in the present day. It takes the form of the kids' greatest fears. In Stephen King's novel, these fears were based on the pop culture of the 50s, and so Pennywise often masqueraded as famous monsters of the time. The book's Losers Club see a werewolf, a mummy, and Frankenstein's monster. The new adaptation lets Pennywise's clown form have the bulk of the scares, but there's still room for new nightmare visions like Mike's burned parents and Stan's painting lady. Ah, trash mouth. The Richie Tozier of the book loves to slip into the voices of characters that he's created, some of which are super racist. It gets to be a little much. I heard that, you skirt. Luckily, in this adaptation, Finn Wolfhard's Richie relies far more on wisecracks and comebacks than on offensive, grating characterizations. It 2017's Mike Hanlon is probably the loser with the most changes from his book counterpart. While the film has Ben Hanscom taking on the role of dairy historian, it's actually Mike in the book who does this research as the losers prepare to fight It. Mike learns a lot of Derry's history from his parents, still very much alive in the novel. In the movie, Mike's parents both died in a fire, so he works for his grandfather reluctantly killing sheep with a bolt gun, which he later uses in the loser's battle with Pennywise. The Beverly Marsh in the book was always friendly with the first members of the Losers Club, Bill, Eddie, Richie, and Stan, so the boys don't go gaga over the presence of a girl like they do in the film, except for Ben, who is adorably in love with Bev across both. The book also builds Bev up as a crack shot, and she is the one who is tasked with going into the house on Niebold Street to deliver a silver slug into its brain with a slingshot. Silver kills monsters, after all. Speaking of silver, Bill's huge bike of the same name is a symbol of both persistence and escape in King's book. Bill uses it as an escape from his miserable home life after Georgie's death, but it also plays a vital part in saving the lives of his friends and family, both as a child and as an adult. Silver is in the movie, but its importance to Bill isn't explained. Patrick Hockstetter is killed fairly early on in the 2017 movie, but in the book, Patrick is much more prolific. A serial killer in training, the book's Patrick murdered his own brother when he was five and kills animals by locking them in a refrigerator at the town dump. The movie leaves this gruesome backstory out. In the book, Henry and his surviving goons, Victor and Belch, chase after the losers as they go to confront Pennywise. Vic and Belch are killed, but Henry survives, though he loses his mind as he wanders the sewers and winds up being charged with the child murders in Derry once he emerges. In It 2017, Henry appears to die after being pushed down a well by Mike. Henry does play a part in the book as an adult, so we'll have to wait for It Chapter 2 to see if he survived his fall. The Losers Club of the book defeat It by performing the Ritual of Chud, a psychic duel of wits. In the film, the losers force Pennywise to retreat by proving they aren't afraid of it. Director Andy Muschietti has said the Ritual of Chud, along with more of the book's metaphysical aspects, will be a part of It Chapter 2. Although the Losers Club in the novel make the same blood oath that they do in the film once Pennywise has been defeated, another scene from the book that essentially served the same purpose was omitted. Beverly's decision to be the first love of all the boys in the Losers Club down in the sewers is an immediate talking point for anybody who has read the book, and Andy Muschietti wisely chose to leave that scene out of his film. What other differences did you spot? Let us know in the comments, and for more on it, be sure to check out our review and our discussion on just how scary Bill Skarsgård's Pennywise is, and be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you like to watch IGN.